So you've made the acoustic measurements of your test object in all the conditions. And now your boss expecting you to show the results tomorrow morning in a nice and decent presentation. How much time do you need for that? Create the diagrams, scale the diagrams, align them in PowerPoints. Everything should just be perfect. One hour, two hours. It will be a long evening. In this tutorial, I show the reporting function of a team of suite. With that, you can do this work in just 10 seconds with two clicks. If you've seen all the four videos before, you're ready to make this big step ahead and you will never waste your time on creating diagrams, organizing and PowerPoint. Get rid of this. Just click and you're done. It's so easy to set up. You can even start today. We continue right at the spot where we stopped in video number four. As you can see here, I only insert another destination. Um, this time it will be the report function, okay? So same calculation, but all the data is now sorted to the report. What kind of results do we have? We can have a preview. All the time it's here, just show it to you here. We have different setups here, Martian Cut 1, 4 and 7, and all these setups will be calculated level versus time, FFT and loudness. So it's 22 records, no special filter, 3 analysis leads to 27 results. So keep in mind we have 27 results and these are all now calculated and is brought to the report. The report comes up and there's nothing inside because you have all the options now to say how many pages you want to have, which kind of diagrams you use and what data should be at which page, at which size be organized, okay? Completely, there are thousands of options now. I show you the simple one because this is the getting starting tutorial. So at first you see a default diagram layout. There are even some more, for example, two by two and then we have four diagrams just as a preset, okay, we delete this one. We start here simple, uh, I'll take this also off. Um, this is a diagram and now you can bind the data to the diagram, just clicking on data binding and there are all the results I've talked to you. The first condition, no special filter and there is level versus time analysis and the average FFT analysis. Now these results are printed here. But we don't want to have diagrams, we want to have just the single values. So we have here, just to show you, the single values table. We want results from all the data and that's good to hook on your show advanced node that gives you a wide character, the joker. So all sources are listed up in this folder here and we want maybe level versus time from all the channels. And now there are all the results. You can make this a nice decent format and what I really like is you can just make a copy to below or to the right side, for example. And then on the next one, maybe you choose a different one. And here I don't want level versus time. Now here I want the FFT average, the booming level, and only that one. So I have these two analysis results separated here. For example, I can put this on another space or another page, okay? Free in my organization. But here I recommend graphical interpretation of these numbers. So we take, we delete this one and this one. And what do we else have here? Single values diagram. Just place it in here. I think we can reduce this one. We have more space to see. And what do you want to have inside? So we go for the data binding for this diagram and ask, well, I select source, source number one, a first analysis, level versus time, in comparison to source number two, also level versus time, and source number three, also level versus time. So all the threes are in, and now the value is graphically printed. Yeah? Good to see. Um, we can adapt, of course. So like this, I think that will be fine. Uh, we can, of course, adjust some layouts of the axis, maybe like this. Um, this doesn't make sense, so mark name can be off and the analysis name I like to have in the title. So I'll just cut this out here and paste it in there. So it will be here on top. We going for the groups we found, which has to be average all the time. So margin cut one, margin cut four, margin cut seven. And we don't need any legend here because this is all channel number one. Okay, for me, this looks fine. 
and now we want to go for the next condition and there's a trick we just make it a little bit smaller and then we have the option to duplicate it here one more time to the right and even one more time to the right so we got them all together um, this of course is exactly the copy of the first one but we can change a small thing because if you want to compare two things we keep everything the same but one thing is different and the only difference between here is here we select another source so we don't need to pick again in all available data it's much easier if you go for the active data and just make a small change so here not source number one anymore the rest keeps the same but source one should be number four and here is the condition of the source five and the condition of the source six so this is very fast now and the third diagram here we have the last three seven and the eight and then the nine okay now we have a nice decent diagram um, there's more space still left so we can select them all maybe bring them up here we got the space all right it fits now and we can duplicate it to below so everything selected this was too big okay like this and now we select just the lower part here which is a copy of the first one and now we only change um well we select all of them Control i and then go for another analysis not the level versus time or the second one which was the ft average which needs another scaling so way from low level on so maybe like this so we go here for data raw style to change the color i like to have the red color because it's important the booming okay and now this format i like to use also on the other two so all i have to do is just copy the same value diagram of this guy copy and then select with control these guys and say paste and we got same color and same scaling to all of them all right now we have to print this to our powerpoint standard layout of our company and there we have already these borders and titles so this can also be taken off here because this is part of the powerpoint and how can i make this fit now perfectly to our design if you open the powerpoint presentation this is a space we have and we see oh this is not a normal setup here this is not four by three this will be scratched and screwed difficult no look at this um, just keep it open and then we say go for the format and we see this customized format what we have in our company and there's even more we can make a picture and we see the colors of our default setup for our company and now we can align everything and this can also fit just perfectly in here and may there's a little space for a graphic design so we go for a picture it can be placed just here uh, go my favorite folders maybe an artificial hat always good to know okay we're talking about acoustics if you don't like the borders we take the borders off um, maybe the title will be uh, lawnmower just click on the object and all the properties you would like to change are on the property page it's very easy to operate everything here here I can bind the data uh, go for the first measurement first channel so it's not the channel name it's um, the HDF date of recording so it looks like this well we don't need the time so just year month and day and all the rest can be off here okay so like this yeah just the date looks good for me now into the audio files and this is very easy now um so many things we can add there are the audio options so the first one get an icon and there's nothing connected so i go for the data binding and this should add the time data for the first one left and if you like both so we have binaural recordings and then it's we can place it with the size like this maybe make this smaller here you can see it better so maybe in here and it is copy and paste paste and of course go for the active data and these two are not from the first anymore these are the second source and this one is also 
the third source and so on. You can just take the three of us. Just copy and place the holder and I just select which file should be used in here. And I can copy all of them, bring them down because this is still the same file below. It's just another analysis, but the time data is still the same. I think we've got it now. Now there are two things to do. Print it to PowerPoint, this is easy, and save this report for the next time. So we save it. And we can print export to as a PDF or this time to PowerPoint. Active, active presentation is still on. The light goes on and you see now it's inserted. And there it is. And it looks exactly like we have to. And of course, if you just play, you got the file. On PowerPoint, we can have a look at our results. And we can see, okay, margin cut, of course, the higher the cut height, the louder it gets, okay? Here, at higher cut height, it doesn't, the effect is not that big, but at margin, the effect is the biggest. But the booming noise is in cut height one, at lowest is really high, and at higher size, the booming drops dramatically. So the worst situation is margin cut height one, no? With like this too extreme, okay? Maybe the boss is now saying, now I don't want to compare margin with cut height one, four, and seven. No, I want to have one cut height, compare margin basket and side throw in one diagram. So the same data, but different way around, okay? Ooh, everything new. No, now it's a big advantage of reporting. The different ways to do it. The fastest and easiest way is I go back to my pool project and just change the order here. So margin cut one, compare with side cut one, compare with basket cut one, and then margin cut four with side cut four and basket cut four, and then margin cut seven side and basket four. And then just calculate one more time. But well, this time I tell the report not to create a new one, it's used existing one and of course he's clever we just create this one he suggested to use the last one we use press calculate and now all the done two three four five six seven eight nine done <laughs> <laughs> now you speed up so here we see on the first page the total level, if it's cut at one, four or seven, the total level is almost the same. It more depends if it's margin or with a side cut. No? But the biggest difference we have here is on the booming noise. It doesn't matter if it's one, four or seven, but margin creates the biggest booming noise always, and it drops dramatically if one of the holes is open. That is the first view, two seconds. Ah, I got it now. And just 10 seconds to create it, okay? And are you sure we are always right? The diagram that always fits to the legend will always fit to the WAV file supported at the same spot because it's automatically organized. Once you set up, you are so much faster. And you can add more papers. You can add a second page, copy and paste, and change a little bit, a few things, more analysis, more data, and every time you print out five, six, seven pages. It's very, really, very really fast to operate this way. Now you're ready to set up your own first report and start saving so much time. In our lawnmower measurements, we have airborne channels and vibration channels at the same time. These channels are completely different and should be treated in a different way. And this can be organized very easy in the filter pool. You really should have a look on the app.